Hi everyone, this is just a quick flip through of a book that I made for a swap that I'm doing in a group called Swap It. It was a kind of like a Dollar Tree or notebook upcycle. So I didn't make the book, I'm just decorating the book. Um, I used napkins to decoupage the front cover. I painted it first, I should tell you that. I painted it black first so that I wouldn't have that um, marble kind of spatter looking cover that you usually see on a composition book. So yeah, I decoupaged napkins on the cover and this little typewriter is super adorable. I love it. And I printed that out from um, an Etsy shop called Victoria Designs. I think it's something like that. Like, kind of sounds like Victoria, but with vector design. This is a piece of glue that I'm trying to take off. Um, it came with some notebook paper, and I just cut this part out so that I could leave it on top. And I glued lace to the side, and the lace goes all the way around to the back, which I also decoupaged with the same napkins, and those napkins were a dollar too. These um, little paper clips are also from the Dollar Tree, and I just tied some ribbon on there, and the ribbons are all long enough to kind of make it through the whole book, and they come out the bottom. And I put these little dangles, uh, charms from the Dollar Tree. And, oh no, these are not from the Dollar Tree. These are from Daiso. It's just been such a long time since I've been able to go to Daiso because I'm out of state now. So, um, I forgot to say Daiso. They're so cute. And, um, since it's a swap, a mailing swap, um, happy mail, I put this little envelope there. I thought it was adorable. So, then going to the inside, more from Daiso. I believe this is kind of like origami paper, and I layered it on the inside. Um, hopefully my partner is not going to miss the uh, multiplication chart table and stuff like that, but I just wanted to make it cute all the way through. So, I added some little dividers that I made. This is the first one I did, and I kind of messed up. I'm probably going to clean up that line before I mail it today. But um, with the scrap paper that was left over from making the inside cover, I made some little tabs and just folded them over. So I inserted these um, dividers by just gluing them to the inside of two pages and then I cut away, or actually I should say I cut away some of the paper first and then I glued them to the inside. And you can see that I did a much better job on the rest of them there. Those are nice and straight. This is an envelope um, also from Daiso. I believe it came in a two or three pack. And I just put some more little printouts of like journal cards that came also from Victoria Designs. And I printed them out on shimmery paper from Michaels. And then I distressed the edges a little bit just with some black ink. And um, I thought they were cute, so I included them for her as extras. And then just a little more tabs going throughout. I really like these little stripes in different directions. And the paper from Daiso was like double-sided, so it's really easy to match things up. This is not a divider, this is just a little clip. I sewed in an envelope that I also distress. Uh, I didn't really have to do a lot of sewing, actually. It's not like I did a Coptic stitch or anything, but it's just ribbon through the bottom of the envelope, and I, and I tucked it into the uh, stitching that's already there. And then there's the inside cover. And I put a little stamp here that says, keep this, don't even think about throwing this away. And there's the back cover of more decoupage. And that's it. So I'm sending this out today, and I hope she likes it. And I can't wait to receive what she sends me. 
It's always fun to see what people come up with for the same um, project. So that's that upcycled composition book. 50 cents at Walmart and can't beat that.